Okay, <clears throat> we're going to show you uh, in this video how to personalize sequences in Apollo by Persona and ICPs. So this is an example, a client here. We've built a few different lists and I like building lists because it gives you a lot more granularity as far as like moving accounts and, and contacts around. And then also later on in the reporting, it's very helpful too. And also in the, in the uh, custom uh, scoring models. But so for this example, this company targets, and then this is the company level or the account level, health and wealth, wellness, retail cafes, a um, bunch of different industries basically. And we did some work to really refine these company lists and put them in, in here. Um, and then on the contact side, people, they sell into basically four different personas. So marketing, C-suite operations, and IT. Now, obviously, targeting and personalization and segmentation, the more and more you do that, the better, better the results, more responses, better delivery um, in the end, all that. So the problem, I guess, though, is if if we want to have a different message for maybe on, at the company level, we want to give a restaurant case study to restaurants or, you know, do do different things that the, it gets pretty complicated. And I mean, you could potentially have like 24 different sequences if you wanted to tailor everything that way. So um, there are ways around that using variables and uh, dynamic uh, variables, basically. So in in Apollo, in the sequences, you have this dynamic variables tab. There's some general ones in here, you know, name, company, location, that sort of stuff. They do have title, but that's not a great field to target on at this level, just because there's like tens of thousands of titles and you're going to miss, uh, miss a lot. So what I did to the way to get around this is I'm using the custom field variables. So I built a custom uh, variable, both at the account level and then at the uh, contact level. So I'll show you, um, we'll go over to contacts here. So you go into your settings, contacts, and then you can create a custom field. So I built this ICP personas. So for each of those personas, these are the different pick list options. And I, I chose pick list because one contact should just be in, in one of these personas, uh, IT ops, marketing, C-suite, whatever. And if I go back to these people lists, so now you can see uh, I grabbed all the uh, C-suite people from our contacts and put them in this list. And then the other thing I already did, I'll go to the C-suite one right now. You can select all these people and then set the custom field. So you, you would set all these to IC pers ICP personas and then C-suite. So I've already done that part, marked these people same as the account level. So now that these contacts and accounts are tagged with this custom field, we can use it as a dynamic variable to change the messaging. So you can see the contact one here and then the account one down here. So what I wanted to do, and this took me a little bit of time, but let's just talk about the personas right now. You know, we I'll just look at a couple different ones. So IT. Like for this company, IT, again, cares about a saving time, right? The C-suite cares about saving money, let's say. And then marketing cares about brand, whatever. So ideally, you want to build up a, a sequence that, you know, if it's going to an IT person, it'll talk about time, C-suite, money, marketing, brand. Again, you can set up different sequences, but when you if you want to really um, personalize at the account level at the contact level it starts to get like this big crazy matrix and it's a little unwieldy if you're um, gonna set up sequences for every single one so definitely way better to use these dynamic variables um, it would be better if apollo just had it um, those variables in here but um, what i did is and I'll show you how I built this, but you can use the advanced tab and then chain together basically these, these if else statements. So if 
this is the example they have here, but right, like if first name equals John, we're going to show this information, else we'll show this information. So I built this sequence back here. So I'm, I'm using the ICP personas uh, custom field at the contact level. So if that persona equals C suite, it's going to save say save money. Marketing is going to say elevate the brand. IT is going to say eliminate troubleshooting head headaches. And then else is going to say save time, money, and elevate your brand. So basically that one's the fallback option. You can see over the right, that's what's showing up basically because I haven't uh, selected a real uh, contact yet. So, um, and then I'm closing out all three of those end if uh, statements. So this is where it kind of gets cool, I think anyway. So if we pick a contact, so this guy's a CTO, it just changed it to eliminate troubleshooting headaches because he falls into our, our IT persona bucket. Um, I got a guy here. So this guy, Jason Payton, he's a C-suite person. Boom, change to save money. Um, this person is IT, back to uh, troubleshooting. And then this person is in marketing, retail marketing, elevate the brand. And I, I put myself in, I'm not on any of these lists and it goes to the de default. So this becomes pretty powerful to change the messaging within uh, the body of the email. Another thing, you know, I could even just grab all this and put it in the subject line. And I mean, same thing, it's gonna change the subject line. And you can see the way we had it. I mean, the grammar, spelling, everything looks good. Now this is going to an IT guy with an IT um, subject line, COO. What was the other person's name? Jason. So back to a C-suite and back to save money. So this is pretty powerful to kind of chain some of these custom fields together to personalize the subject lines, personalize the messaging within the sequences. So, you know, it, it took me a little while to set this up. If you need help, reach out, but hopefully uh, you learned something. Thanks.